Yeah, I know there's many people who thought this day would never come. Uh, and, and there are rumors that there are people who are collecting glass as, as, as mementos. Um, but, I, but I think I want to focus on one thing that Congressman McGovern said, and, and that is that it's not just recreation, that it truly is an economic engine. And the number of people who are using this trail to commute is absolutely astonishing. And, and, and helping to alleviate some of, the, some of the traffic that we're seeing along Route 9 and along the way. So, so it was a vision. It was a vision that John Olver had a number of years ago <clears throat> that people didn't believe would actually happen. It happened. We tried an experiment. The experiment didn't really work the way we wanted to. Uh, and so beginning with this, these improvements, this trail will change from being one form of a shining star to another form. You may not see the glass, but with the improvements, I expect you'll see far more people utilizing. You'll be seeing families. It'll be there for recreational purposes. It'll be there for improving their health. It'll be there for commuting purposes. And, and, and I think what will happen is people will recognize that we truly have a gem here in the Valley. And it could not have happened w without the leadership of, uh, of Congressman Olver, without DCR. Uh, and, and, and it truly is kind of a unique partnership to see DCR and DOT working together uh, on this, I, I hope this is the uh, this is the foundation of, of other relationships, and recognize that recreation and transportation do go hand in hand. And I appreciate your efforts, Secretary, uh, and the efforts of, of DOT in terms of going forward. This truly will be something to be proud of, and, and I thank you all for being here this morning.